the difference between a salary and a dividend. Um, let's step back. Before we talk about the difference, let's talk about how you pay yourself when you're incorporated. So when you're incorporated, there are two ways of drawing money from a corporation. You can pay yourself a salary, you can pay yourself a dividend. Um, a salary is paying yourself uh, as an employee of that corporation. So it's just like you would get a salary from any other business if you were an employee for that business. Um, it's, it's the same idea. Um, a dividend um, is a payment in your capacity as a shareholder. So that's an actual distribution on the shares that you own of that corporation. So there are differences from a tax perspective, both at the corporate and the personal level. So at the corporate level, if you pay yourself a salary, the corporation will receive a deduction for that. So if you pay yourself a $10,000 salary at the 15% tax rate, your tax liability will reduce by $1,500 if you pay yourself a $10,000 salary. On the personal side, you then bring that salary into your personal income and you pay tax at whatever your marginal tax rate is. Um, so the highest marginal tax rate is if you earn more than $220,000, uh, the tax rate is 54.54%, so you would pay approximately $5,400 on a $10,000 salary if you earned over $220,000. A dividend, on the other hand, is paid out of after-tax corporate earnings. So the corporation pays tax on their net income and whatever is left can be distributed as a dividend. So when you receive that dividend as an individual, the corporation has already paid corporate tax on that income. So when it's reported on your personal tax return, there's a mechanism that allows you to get credit for the corporate tax that's already been paid. So at the end of the day, you end up paying less personal tax because you're getting credit for the tax that the corporation has already paid. That mechanism is a funny calculation because what actually happens is you include a higher income than what you actually receive and then you get a credit for the corporate tax paid. The reason that you're reporting a higher amount of personal income than what you actually receive is because the tax system is grossing up that income to the income that the corporation would have received before tax you then pay tax at your corporate tax rates on that income and you receive a credit for the corporate tax that's been paid. So at the end of the day, the same amount of tax is paid between the corporation and yourself individually that would have been paid had you have just taken that money as a salary. So yes, you pay less corp, sorry, yes, you pay less personal tax on a dividend, but it's because you've already paid corporate tax on that income. You can pick a mix between the two of them and the decision between what you want that mix to look like is a question that's completely individualized. So um, it would be different for you than it would be for me, than it would be for any common Joe walking down the street. Um, it, it depends on personal situation, corporate situation, um, and really takes some planning um, to go along with it. So definitely see your accountant about that because that's a great calculation to do ahead of time. There's great planning, you can minimize tax if you look at those calculations ahead of time and actually plan for what your remuneration is going to look like.